So what I did here, this is the uh, direct drum, is with the new Smart Tech kit, you get 17% more apply capacity because they give you just a little bit more room. You can put one more steel and one more friction in here. So unfortunately, I know it's not the way you do it, but these are all brand new where you can still see the numbers on them. The old ones, they only had 33,000 miles on the strands. So I used one of the old frictions and one of the old uh, steels in this system uh, to make up for the space. And then I put my top plate on, put my snap ring in. I got just a little bit of clearance like they said you're supposed to have. And then uh, underneath this center section here, let me dump this out for you so you guys can see. There is a... Come on. Oops. Sometimes you can pull these apart and you can look. You can see whether or not they're wore out. But this one's not wore out. And then there's this with that tapered side. It goes down. This is the upgrade that they say most people. The tapered side down. And then you take this here. And I use the flat rotating side down. And I kept the collar side up. Because the collar side right here has got that little ledge. It doesn't really... Eh. You can see all the new frictions in the bottom. And then I put the one old one in the top then that slides back down in there so then what you'll do is this is ready to be dropped into the transmission now I'll show you guys real quick how you build it so there's this bottom So you start with, and you're going to start with a friction here, right? And then, I mean, you're going to start with a steel on top of that piston. And you're going to put a friction, and what I do is based on people that build these things, they say take your, I think it's called your sun... It's called the sun gear, the overdrive sun gear or something like that. I think that's what it's called anyway. Um, actually, no. Take that back. Put the tapered collar down. Put your bearing down. That goes on it. Like that. Then I take this. Fit it down inside. Fit it down inside that clutch pack like so. And then... steel and then a friction come on and steel friction and steel and friction and steel friction steel Make 
Dankeschön. Steel. Steel. Is it? Yeah. Then it's that. You don't put one more steel after the last friction. You don't put one more steel. You put the base plate, and then or the pressure plate or whatever they call it, and you put your snap ring in. And they want you to tap the drum with the snap ring in, make sure you have to have some some play there. So let me show you exactly how many I have in this stack here. Just so you guys know. Build it one more time. So go ahead and take the sun gear. And, well, actually, no. Put your your bottom taper bearing down. Overdrive sun gear and put it in. And you'll start with a with a solid plate down on top of the piston. Steel. And then you'll go with one friction. Two frictions. Three frictions. Four frictions. Five frictions. Six frictions. Seven frictions. And then your end plate, it's thicker than the rest. So you should be able to put one more friction in than normal. And take your snap ring. You should have, this does fit loosely, it doesn't fit super tight inside here. There is a lot of play in this. There are certain tolerances that the manufacturer allows, but that's what this is here. You know, that's, there's no, it's a no brainer. Um, but this is how it's built. And what's so important about this is the fact that the snap ring groove is deeper inside the case. This snap ring groove is not as deep. The, the snap ring shoots out more and it, it can break. This one, it sits deeper down inside here. Snap ring sits deeper down inside here and it has more oil holes for better cooling. And you get 17% more, 17 more apply um, or 17% more capacity. So you've just beeped, this is 50% larger, and that's the difference between the factory. And the new billet setup. 
Sonic Smart Tech factory. It won't go. So this is made with a better quality steel and it is like a 95, or what do they call it, 9510 steel, and it's a larger capacity. It's beefed up, so it can take more abuse. That's the Smart Tech upgrade for the 4R70W.